Brian's coming at you with another Star Trek Online ship review. So, I've been wanting to do this review for some time now, but not because there was anything wrong, but because I just could not be bothered to sort out the ship. Because I basically used it as a pack mule for all of my spares. So, as you can see on the title, this review is about the Temporal Raider. Kind of a birdie looking ship, I want to say a little bit more Klingon as you can now see. Quite a spiky little thing. I've used it for quite some time. And I'm pretty impressed by the ship itself. Although the only thing I would say about it is... Kind of looks like a monster's face from Destiny, don't you think? Don't you think? I think you do. Do you think? Yeah, I think I'll see it. It agrees with me. Anyway, <laughs> getting back to it. So, you don't really have much to choose from on the the uh, customizations. Unfortunately, it's very, very limited. Um, that one mine is giving you, giving it the. It's got the nice little leather look to the outside. You know, everybody loves a little bit of leather. It makes things look classy, doesn't it? So yes, I have started the nacelle, the saucer, and the hull have all been had very minor customizations on them just because I can, you know there's nothing you can do. It's very little you can do. And again, there's no bridge, only the temporal bridge. Which if you think about it, probably not the best thing in the world really is it. Come on. Add a few more customizations. You know, can we move the nacelles down the, the wings down? Can we move the location of the nacelle to perhaps the underside in the middle rather than at the back um, but hey it is what it is and it is there now so what I'm going to do is I'm going to zip us out into space so you can have a quick gander on this little beauty so this is one of the best escorts it's quick it's nimble and it has some really kick-ass abilities on it. Especially if you're the type of person who likes to vaporize, go along, run, shoot, and boom. So, first of all, let's get rid of this god awful impulse. And that. Uh, but you know what? Let's also do something. Where's my Aegis? Oh no. I don't think I like the Aegis. I don't like the the uh, ores changing. So what I will do is change the impulse. That's not bad. That's pretty nice. Okay, so quick, nimble little ship. Very nifty. Very oh, especially if you chuck a block and be like, "Hey, what you doing?" And then they will kick in, and you will be flying all over the place. Let's just activate these. Uh, I've got abilities to help that, so we will. So, as you can see here, no special abilities. I actually haven't got any special abilities. Sugar. So, the one thing that this ship comes with, Battle Cloak. It's a little bit touch and go at the moment. Unfortunately, they still, I'm still here in reports, they still haven't fixed it. Right, yes, I have got the right warp core. Yeah, they still haven't fixed it where when you go in, you don't come back out again. Obviously not many Federation ships actually have this battle cloak. And it does have some pretty good effects on that cloak itself. As you can see here, after three seconds plus 4962.4 stealth, minus five current shield power per second. Obviously, it does take your shields away because it's like they all do. But it gives you plus three flight speed, plus 50 defense rating. After decloaking, plus 25% bonus damage for, pre for a brief duration, which is what you're going to really want to look for. Because obviously, the more power you can kick out in one blast, the better it's going to be. So, let's see if I can come out of cloak. Oh, it works! It works! Yay! Okay, so. 
Let's have a look at stats. As you can see here, accuracy rating of 73.50, defense rating of 85, critical chance of 19.3. I could do with that being a little bit higher. Critical severity of 107.2. So let's just stop me there. Uh, what one can I dispatch? Because oh, I haven't got any more of these. I haven't got any more of these, so we'll leave for now. So there are abilities that you, you can activate, which will give you that extra pop, so to speak. Um, but I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's jump over into a uh, sector space and let's try and find let's find a space encounter so I can show you how this ship works. Obviously when you're against players a little cloak does come in really handy because just as you're swooping in you can decloak and bam. Hello, how are you doing? See you later. So let's see if this event is active. It could be one of these dodgy ones which says it is but it isn't. And it's not. Lush. Come on, fix the game. Fix what's there before adding more. Let's try and go over there before that disappears. I don't know why I didn't just go over there straight away. Because I knew that was going to happen. And that was fantastic. Don't you love this game, guys? Look at that. Just got here. Oh, that ticks me, that does. That does tick me. Okay, let's try a different instance. Right. Quick sticks, let's go. Can't activate my slipster in. My ship, she'd be too fat and chunky. Should be done soon. Done. 20 seconds, I'm gonna be there in 20 seconds. Hi, look, it's a player! else to say at the moment other than don't disappear. That's right, I'm watching you. Do not. No. You stay there. Stay. Good decision, you do. So let's pop on in here and let's show these guys who's boss, shall we? Oppa. Oh, it's the Vomalon! Guys, you seriously not having trouble with that, right? Let me help. Boom. You can see, it's a beautifully aggressive ship. It handles itself really nicely. No, it's, it's literally coming in there and it's like, I don't flying to who you are. Your ass is mine. Now, I think I've had a bit of a weapon issue there. I, uh, I have noticed that sometimes, which means a lot of people would have just stopped. So, obviously, not great when being caught in a core breach. Fire in the hole. Boom. And my bio turrets can take care of 
that they don't need me there. Camo into nothing. Reef damage bonus. Boom, look at that. That is exactly what you want to go in there buy and I know it's only a level 30 but look I'm still hitting 27,000 on a crit on a level 30 it's, you know it's, it's absolutely crazy what these little escorts can do they are fantastic they're they do not care who you are they die look they're all struggling to take that thing down didn't even get for a full weapon volley this ship in particular, I love how it is. It runs so nicely. This is gonna make it look like I'm missing everything. Right? Kapow, there. That's what we have. We have a beautiful, elegant looking ship. It is doing what it is designed to do. It is destroying everything. What's going on there? Bang. Snap, crackle, and pop that thing. Good. Who wants some? You, you look like you need a good signature. Seconds. Look at that. Seriously, you, you don't want to fire? Okay. That's fine. You don't, you don't need to fire. It's fine. You don't need to fire. I have my little eyes to it. Obviously, if you have some like gyro cannons, it works. Your mind is obviously pumping out that massive amount of damage. Now, I have got an ability on this which will actually have. Uh, once you've used scatter volley and then used a, uh, so you use, use scatter volley. I can barely see it. There it is. Use scatter volley and then use your rapid fire. Afterwards, it actually gives a big bonus effect, a big bonus da a damage bonus. It's about 100%, I think it was. So 100% damage. It's fantastic. Obviously, if you're going against a PvP, you don't want to be doing that. Because if you use a scatter volley, you want to be targeting one person, really. Um, you want to pick your encounter wisely as well, because if they're in a big group and you're just by yourself, you are dead. You are absolutely dead, and there is no way you are coming back from it. Until you respawn. So pick your opponents wisely. Suit your ship up so you have that high critical chance. Critical severity. It is difficult for Federation characters to get that critical chance it is easy for Romulan characters because that's what their sets are built for um, but for your feds you really have to work on it so join a good fleet get those fleet consoles such as these which give you your disruptor damage of a 37.5 percent like your normal uh, like your normal tactical consoles but it gives you the 1.9 percent critical chance as well but you have these others which will give you critical chance, critical severity, and plus other things like whole regeneration. You know, there's another one here, whole capacity, starship control, subsystem a uh, power tastic. You even got this one which uses your auxiliary power to boost your critical chance. So if I was to pop my power over to critical on onto my auxiliary, my critical chance has increased as you can see. However, and my severity as well, however, it's counter effective, you might as well just stick to what you know. Stick to your weapons because that will give that extra power as well, but experiment, play around with it, see how you feel. Camo, okay, camo, camo, okay, you're a fierce ship. Obviously people can have sensors that will, that will detect you. So be watchful of that. Come 
up behind him and decloak and boom 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 load up I have done that not to not to the the big girl here um because she wasn't out when I was using this but I have done it just to the Kelvin Intel Dreadnought so many times in PvP now I haven't got the best loadout for it I'm not a master on it I've learned some you know there are probably things that I don't know of but it works well PVPs, it really does, and it's not a lie. It's not a oh, you know, it isn't because I've said so. No, it does work well for me, and I can make it work. And that's what it's all about. You build your ship to how you want, but as far as this little girl goes, she's a, it's a beautiful looking ship. It's not the most Federation looking ship, but it is a beautiful looking ship. It's shiny, it glows, it's really elegant. It has the the battle cloak ability on there. Obviously, you do have these as well, which are defensive and support configurations. Normally, if I'm running a PV, uh, PVE, I will have defense on because it gives me that shield power. However, you also have on the, uh, your offensive, you have the 10 engine power, you have the 20% flight speed, and the 20% turn rate, which is good for an escort because you can just swap that ship around and it will turn. But the downside is it does minimize, it does take minus 20% off your incoming whole healing. Um, but for PvE, that's what I use for this because it has the whole healing. Um, not too much of an issue, but because I don't have any issues with it, but you know, it works pretty well. Support configuration does give you a plus 10 max auxiliary power, which would be very good for when you're using the. Uh, critical chance however it minuses 16.7% of your energy weapon damage not great not great but obviously you then also have the molecular uh, deconstruction beam which gives you all the effects there if you're on YouTube to pause you, if you're watching this live go onto YouTube it'll basically be up very soon okay so that is my review for this ship. It's a fantastic little ship, a fantastic little escort. If you cannot afford to get the NX class from, obviously you will still need to use money, or you can use the energy credit, get game currency, uh, energy credits on the exchange to get one, but they are roughly about, I think it was about 200 mil, I think. But if you can't afford any, or can't afford an NX, but you can afford this, Go for it. Fantastic little ship, quick, maneuverable, and fun to use. Um, and I'm, you know, I'm happy that I bought it. I don't, like I said, I haven't used it very much recently because I've had ships just go in and out, in and out. And the NX appeared shortly after I got this, so I, I stopped using it because I preferred the NX. I like the look of it. Um, but it's not to say that this ship is bad because it isn't. It is great. Um, if you build it correctly, you'll know. So what some of you might also be thinking is you're using... Uh, it looks like phasers, is it? It looks like phasers. Well, I can tell you, no, they're not phasers. They are all disruptors. You've just got the saboteurs from the lobby. You've got the Terran tassels from the reputation. And then you have... Oh, they're actually advanced fleet. They haven't got any shield pen on. See, look, no shield pen on them. And I have shield pen abilities, but it's still fuck the most. But I normally have shield pen. You're, you don't bother with your, your fleet disruptor weapons or your fleet any fleet weapons. Don't bother with them. It's it, you're handicapping. You are really handicapping because they're not as good as, it, as these other ones because they don't have many abilities. As you can see, I will have pen on these, and they look the same, which is why I obviously I've missed it. Oh, that's that's really upsetting. But by molecular disruptor tower, that's from the or the heavy tower, that's from the uh, reputation for eight four seven two command, and then a standard little tower on there. But they all have shield pen other than this by molecular, which unfortunately just has critical hit. Um, so experiment around with using both turrets, just standard turret energy penetration but I'd probably recommend getting these 
definitely get hold of the Terran Task Force because the weaker the target is, the stronger this weapon becomes. And you just have some nice effects on here as well. Which you can pause, you can view, you can do whatever you want. Ah, there we go. But it's great. It's fantastic. Fantastic little ship when built. Right, obviously, when you're going for PvE, you don't need to worry too much. Try not to go for a multi-energy weapon base, because that's going to, again, handicap you hugely. Um, stick to the stick to one energy type. You can use a torpedo, but for these escorts, where they haven't really got very many weapon slots, you can do this reputation from the... Um, it's one of the reputations, it's the PV, uh, PvP reputation compared to different games. You can get that from here. Quite easily. Oh no, it's the flak, isn't it? The flak from here. But still, the flak does kinetic damage as well, which can replace the top, you know, and just use your turrets. Uh, I forgot your railgun is actually from a set from the store. That's an embarrassing thing, don't judge me. So, yeah, definitely go ahead, give this a quick buy. Enjoy it. Pretty ship, works well, strong, tough, has that camo ability to give you even more strength. Go for attack pattern Omega, you are going to have a whale of a time. But as far as it goes for now, thanks for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Please leave a like, subscribe to me, um, ask any questions you wish. Um, I really appreciate uh, any love you guys can give. So for now, I am signing off, and I will see you later. Bye.